But remember, the judges will be observing not what the contestant says, but the poise, the personality, and the charm she displays. Now, let's begin with Miss Ireland. Will you come down here to me, please? She is Lorraine Enriquez of Dublin. She's 19 years old. And Lorraine was a pretty excited to be called first of all with all those beautiful girls. Not exciting, terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> but wasn't it a relief to know that you would be one of our 12 semi-finalists? That was a bit. Yes. And, your la and your last name is Enriquez? Or Enrique. did you change it when you arrived in Mexico? No, I kept it the same. How, uh, how do you explain the fact that Miss Ireland is Miss Enriquez? Well, my daddy gave it to me. What, was he uh, Mexican or no, Spanish? No, he's Maltese. I see. Now, you've had a fine time here in Mexico, I'm sure. When you return to Dublin, how are you going to describe Mexico to your friends? Out of this world, fabulous. <laughs> the beaches are just beautiful. We went to Cancun um, for two days. Beautiful. Have you seen any leprechauns? No, I brought three with me. Did you? <laughs> just I've, in case. <laughs> I've seen one, but I was drinking tequila at the time. Uh, What's wrong with Irish whiskey? Well, maybe I should switch to that. Thank you, Miss Ireland. Thank you. thank you very much for talking with me. Now, when I thank Miss Ireland, the judges begin to press the buttons of the computer. She'll return to her place, and in moments, you at home will see her score. Very well. I want to talk with Miss South Africa. Will you come down here to me, please? This is Margaret Gardner. She lives in Cape Town. She's 18 years old, she's a model, and you have also done some writing, haven't you? But two, I've written some poems which have been published. Uh, what, uh, the poetry you have written uh, that right. has been published? That's right. Have you written any stories or, or uh, articles I've, that have been published? I've written one short story, which I hope to have published when I get back to Cape Town. Have you thought about doing a story of the pageant? I definitely have. I've been keeping a diary. Oh, you have? I have. And you're going to write one? I will. I hope it will be successful. <laughs> well, I hope it will, but pl please remember, it's Bob, B-O-B, Barker, B-A-R-K-E-R. -E I've already written it down in my diary. Have you? I have. With a description. Young. Quite naturally. Young, dashing, looking, and poor. Modest. Yes. Uh, have you had fun here in Acapulco? I have. I went parachuting, and I rode in one of these little motorbikes on the sea. I kept falling off, which was unfortunate. <laughs> I've had a lovely time. It's a pleasure to have had the opportunity to talk with you, and good Thank luck. You. Thank you very Miss much. South Africa. Our distinguished panel of computer <laughs> operators is busy at work down here now, and in a moment we'll know the composite score for her. Miss Israel, would you come down to me, please? She is Dorit Jelinek. She lives in Haifa. She's 19 years old. She's a sergeant in the Air Force, and what caused you to decide to enter the Miss Universe pageant? <laughs> to tell you the truth here, I wanted a big vacation from the Army, so I'm here. <laughs> you mean in order to get a leave from the Army? A vacation, yeah. I see. At one time, you see, you had to be crazy to get out of the Army. Now you have to be beautiful to get out of the Army. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> and it was worth the, uh, I'm sure, the tension that you had to go through. It was worth everything. Because you, too, have had a wonderful time here, had you not? Oh, I was also in Cancun, and it's very similar to my, my city. The sun, the sea, the sand. It was nice. <laughs> well, it's nice to have you among our 12 semi-finalists, Miss Thank Israel. You Thank you very much. <laughs> now, of course, you can write these scores down, and you can pick the five finalists right along with our judges. Miss Spain, would you come out to me, please? Now, Miss Spain is Guillermina Ruiz. She's from Barcelona. She's 21. And she speaks no English, do you? Yes, a little bit. If you speak slowly, I can ah, understand it. <laughs> you've learned English during yes. the Yes. I will speak slowly. Okay. I will speak distinctly. Okay. And we will have our interview in Spanish. I mean, in English. <laughs> Maybe a little Spanish and a little English. How's that? Okay. ¿Qué hace usted en español? In Spanish. In English. In English. In English? Please. And now I am working like a model three months ago. Pero, uh, other than modeling, what else do you do for fun? For mm, working. Disfrutarle. 
Mais je vous arrête. Je ne comprends pas. Vous ne comprenez pas Non. Well, uh, to make you laugh, to have fun. What, do you have hobbies? Yes. What hobbies? Uh, photography. See? I think it's that. <laughs> and uh, I like to listen to music mm -hmm. very much and dance in the disco. What are you saying about not speaking English? You speak English very well. No. <laughs> yes, you do. I speak French better. <laughs> Thank you. See, you. this is an educational pageant that we have here. Thank you very much, Miss Fain. Now watch your television screen and you will know the composite score for Miss Spain. And we're ready to talk with Miss Holland. Miss Holland is Karen Gustafson. She's from Rotterdam. She's 21. And what do you do in house? I'm secretary. Have you heard from your boss since you've been here? Oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> it's a pity, but maybe the letter's in the right. I'm what, still waiting. What are your responsibilities in the office? What do you do? Well, I do the bookkeeping, and I make coffee, and I send switch, and I do the tea wet. I speak all over the con world with people. Well, maybe your, your, your boss is so busy making sandwiches and coffee and keeping well, the books, he doesn't he, have time to write. Sometimes he does it for me also. Someone said that you would like to come out to California for a visit. Yeah, I would love to. Why? Because I, uh, one of my ideals is to have a ranch with a lot of animals and a lot of nature around. And my country is a very small country, so there's no possibility. And they told me California was a very nice place. Oh, it is, and you'll feel right at home, and everybody in Beverly Hills wears wooden shoes. <laughs> and, and there are windmills all along Rodeo oh, Drive. And I'm sure in comments will look. Good. Thank you, Miss Holland. As I said, now, write these scores down, and you can be a judge. You can choose the five finalists right along with our panel of judges. Let's have a talk, Miss Mexico. She's Alba Margarita Cervera. She's from Merida. And she is 19 years old, and all of us are talking so much about your country and how beautiful it is and how much we've enjoyed our visit. Have you ever visited the United States? Yes, a couple of times. What cities have you visited? Oh, I know New York, Los Angeles, old Texas, um, um, St. Louis, Missouri, and Bahamas. What did you think of the Texas. men in Texas? The men in Texas? Yes. Is it like the men in Mexico, really? Are they very much like the men in Mexico? Yes. In they, what way? Every way you dominate and speak loud and you are my woman and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the way they are here in Mexico? Yes, almost always. Muy they are macho. Muy macho. <laughs> yeah. But no one has said you are my woman to you as yet. You're, you don't have a, a serious romance, do you? Well, so, so. No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. You will soon, I predict. Thank you, Thank you. Miss Mexico.